Uh, Madam President, High Representative, colleagues, uh, the limited objectives achieved in the last 20 years in Afghanistan were all development objectives, normally achieved by development professionals. So when we suspend development aid, we must remember that we're suspending the salaries of the doctors and the nurses and the teachers that have achieved those objectives. But we must not end humanitarian aid. It must continue based on the humanitarian principles of impartiality, of independence, of neutrality and transparency. And I would call on the Commission to exercise the flexibility that was required so that the thousands of development workers that are able to deliver humanitarian aid are allowed to continue to do that, perhaps under the rapid response pillar of the Global Europe Instrument. I would also call on the Commission to work on the flexibilities required to make sure that we don't fall foul unnecessarily of anti-money laundering terrorist financing objectives in order to guarantee humanitarian access based on risk analysis and derogations. And finally, I call on the Commission to acknowledge that it is not an absolute requirement of international humanitarian law that a request for humanitarian assistance be made by the Afghan government. Thank you.